What's up guys? It's Case Breaks. Uh, it's been a few days since I had a video. I was waiting for some new product. I did just get this in. This is Passing the Torch Football. This is a brand new product. This used to just be an insert in a different product, but they have since released it as its own product now. So this is a five card box, three autographs. Don't really know what to expect. I haven't really seen much of it broke. i just seen whatever Panini put on their website. I have four boxes of this. This is $150 a box retail, so I mean, I'm not expecting anything crazy, but I'm just going to jump right into it. So that's all it is. Look at that first card defect. Lamar Jackson out of 60. I did see this on the Black Friday packs that people were opening where it looks like where they seal the pack or something. It's melting the card. I can already see this is probably going to be an issue with these. Next card is a rookie Nick Bosa auto. 45 out of 99. These cards are definitely pretty metallic. Sticker autos, though, kind of expected. Doesn't look like there's any damage to that one. Definitely have something to keep looking for on every card now. Next card, Leroy Jordan for the Cowboys, 8 of 99, Torch Bear Signatures. Not sure if I'm even familiar with who that is. Next card, Ooh, dropped it. Rookie Hunter Renfro article. Last couple look like there's good, no damage. It must have just been that first one where the pack got sealed. This is numbered six out of 99. Seems like it'd be pretty common to have them out of 99. So much mirror on these cards, I can't keep a glare off of them. And our last card is our base card, Joe Theismann. 7 out of 10. All right, next box. First card, Chris Godwin, that's our base, five out of five. Don't see any damage on that one, maybe that's a good sign. And our next card is a redemption. 
Ryan Finley. Rookie auto. So that'll be an RPA. Uh, actually, there's probably no patch on it. Next card, Javon Curse for the Tennessee Titans out of 50. Another torch bear. We've seen one of those same ones in the last pack. Next card, also a torchbearer autograph. Jack Doyle for the Colts. 22 out of 99. And our last card of the pack. Carson Wentz, base card out of 60. On to the third box. First card, Stefan Diggs. Base out of 35. Next card is another redemption. Evolution Auto, Terry McLaurin. Next card is a torch bearer auto, LeVar Arrington, number one out of 50. Looks like half his auto fell off the sticker. Next card, another Torchbearer Auto, another number one out of 99, Leonard Floyd. And our last card. Bryce Love Rookie, 46 out of 60. Camera's having a really hard time with all that reflection. And the last box. Hopefully there's something in here. See, me personally, I just, I can't get into this stuff. I don't mind it, but it's just kind of a holdover until I can get my hands on more basketball. More of the higher end basketball, but I don't think that's going to happen this year anymore until National Treasures comes out. Because whatever out there is triple priced. We have a Stefan Diggs. I think I already pulled this card. Out of 35, 18. Here's the one I pulled earlier, number 28. So out of four boxes, I happen to get two out of 35 cards.
definitely don't think this is going to be a very popular product. They put this out a week ago, I think, and it's still in stock on their website. You can only get it direct from Panini. Next one, Andy Isabella Auto. Next card is Don Makowski, throwback auto for the Packers. Number 15 out of 25. Torch marks, it's called. Next card is a James Conner Auto, 9 out of 15 for the Steelers. And our last card, base card, Juju. 49 out of 60. That's it for this. I don't even think I'm going to do a recap because honestly, there isn't really much special even worth it. Um, I do have some National Treasures college basketball coming back again after I hit that 101 last time so that will most likely be my next video but until then keep collecting